So this is the uh, first lesson from uh, Chapter 5 in ACE2. And first of all, we're just going to do for our warm-up today a uh, little review of some of the methods that we used in Chapter 4. So you might want to pause the video at this point and see if you can answer these questions. So when we differentiate the exponential function, we look at what the exponential is and actually differentiate that. So the differential of 3x plus 1 is 3. Then whatever the original question was, that goes after your answer. Now we can use that same idea for question 2 as well. So the differential of x cubed plus 1. The differential of x cubed is 3x squared. The differential of 1 is 0. And then we can write down our answer afterwards. So e to the x cubed plus 1, which is what we started with to begin with. Now, probably I should have made this question slightly more difficult. I should have probably made this x squared plus 1x, because then when you differentiate 1x, you get x. And then if you write this down, it looks like you've done the right thing. However, because of order of operations, the only thing you've times the e function by is the x, when actually you want to times by the whole derivative. So to show that, you need to put parentheses around it. Now, when it comes to integration, we can actually only do these questions if these original exponents are linear functions. Now, the opposite of multiplying by 3 would be to divide by 3. So the answer for this one is actually e to the 3x plus 1 over 3. And as we integrate it, we should always add that constant in on the end. Now, the fact that this one is not linear means that this one does not integrate. And perhaps I should say yet. But we certainly don't have the methods within the uh, number of chapters we've done so far to answer that question. Now, when we come on to the ln function, to differentiate the ln function, you differentiate what the ln is. So the differential of 2x plus 1 is 2, and then you write it over what the original function was. Now, integration of ln functions we're going to cover later, but right now we'll just have to say can't do. I believe that's chapter 18 or chapter 19. Now, to differentiate this, this is actually going to be our chain rule. So 2x minus 1, we can write as 2x minus 1 to the power of negative 1. So to differentiate, bring the power to the front, decrease the power by 1, and then also times by the derivative of what's inside the parentheses, which is 2. Negative 6 times 2 is negative 12, and we can bring the 2x minus 1 to the bottom, as it was negative 2, and give it a positive exponent. Now, we can try doing the inverse chain rule for this as well, because we've got 6 times 2x minus 1 to the negative 1. So if we were to integrate that, then we could increase the power by 1, divide by the new exponent, and also divide by the derivative of what's inside the parentheses. The only problem is 0 times 2 is still 0, so we're dividing by 0, which is not allowed. So this is actually not the inverse chain rule. Now what we're actually going to do is look back to this question up here. If we differentiate the ln function, we're going to end up with a fraction. So the fact that we have a fraction here, when we integrate it, means we're going to go back to the ln function. Now the key part about the ln function is the top is the derivative of the bottom. Now at the moment that's not true for this question, because the derivative of 2x minus 1 is 2. However, I'm going to fix this question to make sure that it does work. So that I can do the integral of. But that's not the same as this question. However, if I times it by 3, then it actually is because 3 times 2 is 6. So if I go ahead and integrate this now, I can say it's the ln of the bottom and plus c. The reason we have the absolute value there is, if you remember, that the ln function is not allowed to be um, anything negative. 